Well, I'm going to go to Chris, who's going to give us a little bit more background about what is critical mass and why is it coming to Waltham? Go ahead, Chris. Thank you, Josh. Uh, so yeah, critical mass. Um, for those that don't know, critical mass is essentially a group bike ride um, around the city. Um, it began in the early 90s in San Francisco um, as a way of showcasing just how unsafe the roads were for cyclists and to show that roads are not just for cars. Um, and it is spawned across the world, um, but things, things like this have been going uh, on for a very long time. Um, it, it, the idea for Waltham um, came about because I had read an article about how the Netherlands had become such a bike friendly um, city. And it, the whole article uh, goes about goes on about the militant organizing that cyclists had to do because it didn't happen overnight. And it wasn't always a uh, cyclist friendly city. It used to be very car centric, it used to be very clogged up. And it was through years of militant critical mass type organizing of just people showcasing how unsafe the conditions were for people that don't drive. Uh, Waltham really has no bike advocacy groups. We need to start somewhere. We're not, the, the work that we're doing right now is not going to immediately see like separated bike lanes like Cambridge or Somerville, but we can plant the seed. We can, we can uh, start those conversations. And so I'm excited to uh, bring this to Waltham um, as someone that bikes everywhere. Um, and so uh, we created a committee and we created a map. Um, you can uh, pull that up in a second, but I'm going to let Dan take over and talk about what we're doing on Saturday and a little bit about why critical mass is important. Hey, thanks, Chris. On Saturday, we're going to muster on Waltham Common. Um, we're planning on leaving at 1130 ahead of time. We're going to have people there hopefully with swag and uh, water bottles. Then we're gonna leave as a group. We're gonna have people leading the group and following up with the group with radios and reflective vests for visibility. And we are going to stay together and own the entire lane as we have a right to do as cyclists. Because we're in a group together, this is gonna be perfectly safe. We're gonna go at the pace of the person who's slowest in the group so that everyone can enjoy themselves together and have a nice little bike ride. We're gonna end up starting by going west on Main Street. Main Street in Waltham is notorious for cyclists being injured um, and killed. And um, this has never been a conversation point in the city before. Um, it, time and time again, people are injured either on the sidewalks or on their bikes and it's not been addressed. We're then going to turn right on Hammond Street, which is going to bring us right by the site of the new bike path that's working its way through Waltham. This is a great addition to the city and adds to our east-west connectivity um, with Waltham being a place that you can get to on a bicycle. The question is, what's it going to be like once you get here? We're going to double back on that roughly shadowing the path, course of that bike path until we get to Lexington Street. And then we are going to move back towards the common, taking a left onto Main Street, finally taking a right onto Newton Street. This is a very common route for people to take when they are commuting and especially uh, any students who might be living uh, in the say Bleacherly uh, neighborhood when they, if they were trying to get back from the new high school. They think that we're gonna demonstrate that this is an incredibly unsafe trip to take on your own and that it definitely needs to be upgraded for cyclists, particularly for students. We're gonna go down Newton Street and similarly that is another street that has lots and lots of commuter traffic and is just, you know, we, we took a test ride on this thing. I would say that that's the street that I felt the least safe on. There's no room for a car to pass to you, even as a single person, and they do get aggressive. Finally, we're gonna take a left on Cutter right after the spray park and work our way back towards the river where we will take the very relaxing and scenic Charles River Greenway back to the farmer's market and appreciate what cycling infrastructure actually looks like. I think it's gonna be a great ride. It should give people an experience who may not normally ride on the roads in Waltham for 
uh, you know, various reasons what it is like and why we tend to avoid it, as well as showing us a great vision of what things could be like if we invested in cycling infrastructure. I grew up in Western Mass and um, getting around, like <laughs> my first girlfriend lived seven miles away from me through the hills and I biked to get there. You know, when kids are young and they don't have licenses, they will bike to get where they need to go. Uh, but I moved here and while I use my bike to get around from time to time, I don't ride at night. There's a lot of streets I just don't ride on. Um, I think that Waltham has a lot of potential as a city that was designed before automobiles were a concept um, to really provide exceptional modes of transportation other than cars. It would really cut down our traffic, it would really cut down our carbon footprint, and it would just make the city a much nicer place to live. I'm really excited about the work we're doing here at Critical Mass. And I think that the comments that our Facebook advertisement of this event received are a great example of uh, the type of vitriol that you might face as a cyclist in Massachusetts for being on a bike. Um, there is a certain you know, type of person who views the roads as strictly for the purposes of driving cars. And um, any use for, of the roads for something other than that, like a cyclist is seen as a violation and that this mild inconvenience um, can really set people off. And if you've you know, commuted on a bike for any extent of time, well, you will have run into a person who has tried to injure you with their car. Uh, this is a pretty typical thing. Um, it might you know, be a threat of it, which causes you to swerve and perhaps crash. Um, it might be an actual attempt that you can or may not avoid. Um, and sometimes you might even collide with a car for reasons that are entirely non-malicious. Uh, cars don't think to check for bikes on the side of the road. They just turn and, you know, that's, you, they could turn right into you. Um, or people opening their doors, uh, not, you know, to get out of the car, not seeing a car coming up on the road. Um, it's very common for cyclists to slam into car doors uh, because the rules of the road dictate that we're supposed to be right up to the edge of the road or, you know, face the wrath of the F-250s whizzing around. The, the need for a separated protected bike lane keeps cyclists off the roads from slowing down traffic for commuters. It keeps them off the sidewalks, which is a lot safer for people who are trying to get around by foot. And it makes traffic better. In case after case where people install bike lanes on cities, what happens is that car traffic is reduced. There is a number of people, a very large number of people out there who are simply prohibited from using bikes for their primary you know, means of commuting, not necessarily to work, but for errands, for getting to friends' houses, stuff like that, um, that would be completely removed off from car traffic if we had these separated bike lanes. And often, in cases, the only thing that gets sacrificed is maybe a little street side parking, which I know people are very sensitive about, or turn lanes, which I think we can all agree are a nightmare on Main Street and pretty much incomprehensible to begin with anyway. So this could be something that Waltham could implement very easily, very minimal disruption, and incur benefits to cyclists, pedestrians, and to people who drive cars. I, I just think that this is a great project. I thought some of those comments were very telling, and I didn't really understand some of them, but most of them were like, we're all in agreement with each other. A lot of them were like, this is a terrible idea. I want to share a road with a bicycle. And it was like, yeah, me neither. I don't want to share a space with a car. I would like to be separated. Thank you very much. And so I think we're all kind of in agreement with each other. Uh, can I just ask, I just want to make sure I understand that. So for the point of view of someone who maybe never rides a bike. so. If you're following the law as a biker, you're supposed to be in the middle of the road with the cars, right? But if you do that, many of the drivers will perceive you as you don't have a right to be there, uh, but you you don't really have another option. Is that right? 
Yes, yes. Uh, I used to commute, a great example of this is I used to commute um, to the bus stop on my bike. Um, and uh, I there's a particular stop sign that on the other end of it, the right side of the road is just full of potholes and there's no way to go over it safely on a bike. So in order to get through that stoplight, I would always stop in the center of the lane as the law dictates I am allowed to do. Um, and one day, uh, a car pulled up next to me in my lane and the guy rolled down his window and he said, do you mind if I pull up next to you? And I said, yes, there's no room. Like I'm, I'm riding here. Uh, and he got furious. He started swearing at me. Just, I mean, yeah, it was a terrible interaction. I took a photo of his license plate and backed away um, because I didn't want something to happen to me at that point. But yeah, it to to ride by the rules of the road in, in Massachusetts, you drive like a car, um, and you share the road with cars that have blind spots tall enough to hide a child. Um, I think that one way that people often don't think about bike safety is that uh, it, it's often thought of in terms of like adults biking to work or wearing like lycra and racing bikes or something, but. Where I grew up, it was children. Um, children were the people who biked. You don't see that here. The only place you see that now is Moody Street. Thank God the kids have a place to bike now. Um, well, that's that's interesting you mentioned that. So there's also been a lot of talk of kids on Moody Street and elsewhere um, riding down Moody Street in very unsafe ways or um, other complaints about their behavior. Um, yeah. What do I'm you think? I'm yeah, what do you thinking. think, Walt? Would you do? Do you think that um, that phenomenon could relate back to what Waltham actually provides for kids to ride on bikes? I would just say that Moody Street is like uh, it, it's the only place, right? Like there are so few things for children to do in Waltham, um, and one of them now is hang out on Moody Street and ride bikes. And like, yeah, if you make the only place where children can be safe your central commercial district, where people are walking around with like you know, kids and strollers, then you're going to have some clashes there. Uh, but the fact that the children are out riding at all, I don't think anyone should be surprised that kids are being rowdy. Um, this is far, you know, very normal behavior and far preferential to many of the things that they otherwise might be getting up to. I just think it's funny that the older generation is like, kids don't go outside anymore. And now all I see on Facebook is like, kids are outside, please, please make it stop. So do people need to sign up to take part in the event or? They uh, just... No, no, we'll be um, behind City Hall parking lot, which is on the common um, at 1130. We'll probably say a couple words and then we'll be on our way. Um, free to free and open to anyone. And just to be clear, what this is totally legal. Yeah, so you're we're, we're riding, expecting we're riding that. that that people are going to react as if it's, we're doing something wrong. I think it should emphasize also that this is going to be safe. Like this is the entire point of critical mass is that this bike ride is going to be the safest bike ride you'll ever take because we will have a critical mass of people there to prevent us from having to worry about aggressive drivers. Thank you. And thank you for joining us. And we're going to cover the actual event. Uh, so we'll have some more information and footage from it for you next week.